Hello and welcome to Minecraft version 1.5.2. I'm running the Sfax Pure BD Craft, the 64 bit version. And today we're going to start a new single player world. So name's not really important but let's just call it kickass perfectly good name all right we're not gonna well I mean we can put a seed in doesn't really matter For the seed, we'll put, you know, this seed is relevant. See what that gets us. World type, I like to use the large biomes because it makes it feel a little bit more real to life. I mean, a jungle isn't only covering an acre space in the real world. Allow cheats off, generate structures on bonus chest off. That's it. Survival, yes. And we're ready to create our new world. We'll have to see what we, uh, see what we get. It's taking so long. Must be an amazing seed. Alright, right off the bat, first uh, first reactions is some sort of plains biome, abundant in cows, which is great because, you know, latest book recipes require leather. Oof, a little bit of lag while the world loads in. Right off the bat, punching trees, Minecraft way. I don't know what Notch has against trees, but he made it so you pretty much can't do anything until you beat some trees to death. I don't know. Maybe a tree picked on him when he was young. Who knows? Then when you have enough wood, you can build yourself some tools and a crafting table to make them on, which we'll do here in just a second. I know this must be terribly exciting. Alright. Oh look, you even got some dogs here. Should be good when we get some bones. We can uh, domesticate them and have a little companion to take on our adventures. Alright, quick look around, see if any apples fell down from the trees that we knocked down. None so far. Oh well. We're going to make some of these logs into wood. Make a crafting table. Make some sticks. Plonk down the crafting table here. I'm ready to start getting some more resources. It looks like a bit of wool fell down from where a wolf killed a sheep. We'll need that for a bed. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, guys. Come on. Come on. Knock it off. 
Oh well. Don't want that wool to go to waste. That wolf is a tenacious little bastard, though, isn't he? He's just like murdering every sheep. some coal right off the bat, which is nice. Mm. Everything runs on coal. Great. We're gonna get we're gonna get enough stone for some tools and also a furnace. But we can't pass up this coal for sure. piece of coal is wigging out. Alright. Man, this is a big coal vein. Luckily, coal can be mined with just your starting wooden pick, otherwise you have to go back up and make a stone one. Alright, one piece left, and then we'll top off on stone. Gravel, the most worthless crap ever. All right, that's enough mining for now. We'll go back up with what we got. See if that wolf killed any more sheep. Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Wolf thinks he's king of the world up there. Alright, we're gonna make our first furnace. Plonk it down right there. I'm actually gonna turn some of this wood into charcoal because I prefer to use the coal for torches. Now I'm gonna make some stone tools. Tree genocide. Now I have to kill cows here in a bit because although my hunger bar hasn't gone down yet, soon I'm gonna start needing some food. sun right now. Alright, we're a little bit past midday, so we might want to get a move on. Maybe we want to find another sheep real quick and kill it before it's too dark so that if mm. night comes I can skip the day but so far in the immediate area I don't really see any 
crap ton of dogs though. Tell you what. Oh. Let's help this wolf out right here and we get some uh, free wolf in there. Let's get him. Oh, he's taken to the trees. Oh, got him. Alright, we now have enough wolf for a bed. Now if I hopefully can find my way back home. The lumberjack's job is never done. Alright, I see the crafting table in the distance. We're almost there. Alright, we got our first bit of food. I see an apple here. Nice. Should craft a sword next and take out some of these cows. Not all of them though, because we might want to keep some alive so we can start a farm in a future date. Make some more of this. Logs into charcoal while we're at it. So, oh, stone sword. Enough, enough sidetrack. Stone sword. There we go. Oh man, that is majestic. Wow. That is truly amazing. It is of Excalibur quality. Wow. Wow. So we got our first bits of beef and leather. Leather which we can either make into some kind of, you know, crappy starting armor or we can save it, which I'm probably going to do for when we start making books to make our enchantment table more powerful. Alright, let's sneak up on this cow here. Oh, he saw us coming! Ah, ah, got him. Saw us coming, but it was too late. Oh, I see the sun's going down really fast right here, so I should really get on making this bed. Put the wool down, wood beneath it, and we got our first bed. That way we can skip through all the monsters and stuff. Go straight in. Oh, another another apple over here. Some tree saplings. There's an apple up there, but we'll wait until the morning to go get that. Ugh. Oh. What a crazy night. I had a dream that I was a pumpkin, believe it or not. Yep. And it was about Halloween time, and then some kids and their parents like took a knife and stabbed it into my head and started... It was really an unpleasant thing. I mean, I don't know why we ever thought, you know, jack lanterns were a good idea, but they, they uh, carved a face in me and put a candle inside me, so I don't know what, what you can do. Alright. We're starting to accumulate a lot of stuff here as you can clearly see so what we're gonna have to do is build our first chest and I like to make the first one I build a double one because you know you're gonna probably make it a double one eventually anyway so I might as well cut the middle man and well, we can store this dirt, store this leather, um, sap saplings we'll store the raw meat for now, the extra cobblestone, the sticks and the coal and the wood. Keep the apples for when we get hungry. Alright. Let's actually take a look around this seed now. Now that we uh, survived our first day. I mean, beautiful crisp blue water. You know, kind of water. want to go boogie boarding in. Be able to see a lot more once all these trees are down too. <laughs> Wolf is dancing over there. And it seems to be, oh, oh. 
What is this? Oh, we got a, a joker here. We got a lot of them. He's got, he's got friends. Oh my god. This one's got some sort of fancy purple shirt on. Come at me. Oh, he dropped a brain. Apparently all of those three zombies were just living in this cave together. You know, no judgment here. Oh, hello. Huh. Seems to be a bigger cave down there. We'll have to save that for later. Getting a little hungry, as you can see. But, we'll grab some of the sand before heading back. Maybe kill some cows on the way back, too. But sand we'll use for making glass for our starter house. I like to make my starter house pretty fancy. Worthless gravel. Let's cut down this tree and make this cave a little bit more visible. Alright, find our way back. Another piece of wool in that tree over there. Huh. Oh, not even close. Tell you, these wolves aren't going to leave any sheep left for me. Oh my gosh, there we are. There we are. So, I mean, I got two apples, which replenishes my hunger almost entirely. Some stuff in here. Oh, well, look at that. Got a little fantastic leather cap there. Hello. Oh, I'm gonna look. Oh yeah. That that is what I'm talking about. That is styling. Let's see here. Continue our anti-tree quest. I like saplings because they're a cheap form of fuel and you can always hold on to a couple when you're in really dire need for wood. Plant a tree and grow it into the wood that you're going to use for the, whatever you need to build. Alright, so 40 charcoal. That's enough to cook a lot. However, it takes uh, one piece of charcoal, one piece of coal to cook eight things, though, and I don't like to waste, so I'm going to cook these raw beef, but using the saplings, because it takes two saplings to cook one thing, so we can save a lot of waste by not using the charcoal. You do a lot of lumberjacking, basically, in your first couple of days of Minecraft. Because, like I said earlier, everything revolves around wood. Alright. Three delicious steaks. Alright. Well, I don't like my bed there. So... I'm going to move it first. I think we're going to put down a floor. I'm going to save the cobblestone actually right now for other purposes. You know, mainly tools, but I'm going to dig out. Beneath our little starting base here. be expected because wood tools are the worst tools. Alright, got our 
ourselves a pretty nice uh, wood floor here. We're moving up in the world. Extend it out a little bit. Don't why I'm not just using the shovel. There you go. There we go. We got ourselves a new, new uh, start of a new pad here. Yeah. It's looking, looking pretty swank. All right. That wolf's trying to sneak up on us there. Um, you know, that's probably going to be about it. We're probably going to have to do some mining here. Get uh, some stone and other materials for... <coughs> Expanding our wa walls, our currently non existent walls, of course. Actually, we'll use this wood here for ladders because I like to make my mine shafts vertical. So, the pattern for ladders is basically an H with wooden sticks. That makes us 27 left. <coughs> Where am I going to put this? I think uh, put it right here. We're going to line the top of it with cobblestone. Every so often we'll put a torch. To illuminate the ladder way. Right, right here is fine. Ah, I'm dumb. There we go. Straight down. You know, they tell you never to dig straight down and I guess I just like to live dangerously. I say that and I'll probably fall into a deep lava thing and you all will lull at me mercilessly. Oh my. I can hear some spiders. Still haven't seen a creeper yet in this world, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. You don't want to mess around with any creepers. Oh! And here we are. Here's a... Looks like a mine shaft. I can see some fence posts there. Well, it is getting on though, and we have done a lot today, so... What I do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bed and save that for the next day. All right, well, it's another day, day three, and thanks for watching. I've been Tim, and if you enjoy this video, then subscribe, favorite, and I'll be coming out with the next one soon. Okay, bye.